mute your mic. How's it going? I was really uh, proud of our team, the way they competed in the game today. They really did everything we asked them to do. Uh, we asked guys to go out and dominate the box and win the one-on-one -on -one battles and matchups and, um, you know, go do your job, be disciplined to execute and do what you need to do. And, you know, we didn't play perfectly, but um, I thought it was really important that we could control the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. and did a really good job of that in terms of being able to run it, keep the ball away from their offense uh, because they have some very explosive players and um, did a good job up front on defense and um, stopping their running game. And uh, they did hit a few big play passes on us. In the first half, they quick snapped us a couple times and um, they were kind of messing with the substitutions and we were getting in late and not getting lined up and they hit a couple big plays on us. but. You know, other than that, uh, it was really a, a well-played game by our team. Uh, it was a great atmosphere out there. I mean, our fans were fantastic, you know, in this game. And I think it really helped our players. I think it affected the game um, to some degree, and it was a huge advantage for us. So I uh, can't say enough about, you know, Derrick Henry. Um, you know, I mean, nobody feels worse about the fumble at the end, they were really ripping at the ball. Uh, that gave them a score, but uh, it was a great drive to take the clock in the game at the end of the game when we got the ball on like the eight yard line or six yard line or whatever it was and uh, took the hold, you know, went down the field and uh, even overcame a, a holding penalty. So I thought our offense did a fantastic job of, you know, running the football and throwing it just enough to keep them off balance. And, you know, Jake did a good job. and. I'm just really pleased with the offensive line. Uh, really a great team win. You know, special teams were really good today, too. Uh, the field position on some of the kickoff coverage was really, really good, which I think when you play an offensive team like that really affects them. Uh, you know, they have a really good team. Uh, they have some really good players. They're really well coached. And I'm just really proud of our team for what they were able to accomplish out there on the field today. So, you know, it's a... Uh, Great team win, great team win, great for our players. They, they worked hard to earn this opportunity uh, to play in games like this, so it's great that they were able to take advantage of it, and I'm happy for each and every one of them. In the fact, we'll start with Matt. And just in terms of Derek, to follow up on what you said about him, I think it was saying nothing about him. Jim, right, right here. Jim, just how special of a night was this for him? Derek's had some special games here, but how special do you feel like this one was with this performance? Well, uh, I mean, I, I, I really don't know what you're asking me. You know, I mean, I guess we could have good, better, and best, or special, specialist, specialer, special, be special. I mean, I don't know. I mean, the guy's having a great year. He had a great game today. It couldn't happen at a better time against a very good defensive team. And, um, but I think he'd be the first one to tell you that the offensive line did a good job today, and um, I think it was you know the whole offensive team being well prepared for what they did and going out there and blocking their fronts, and um, he did a great job carrying the ball. So uh, it was special. Right front with Ben. How consistent? How consistent do you feel like your defense was in defending the run and not keeping for that foul all night? You know, very good. I mean, the last run that, you know, when we stumbled the ball and he ran down to the winner, ran down to the five yard line, you know, we didn't read run pass in the secondary, so we had no run support when the ball bounced outside. And we were really in a good defense for it. So, um, but, you know, I, I, was, I was really, really pleased with, you know, I always get a really good feel in a game when they run that first, you know, zone extra. You don't know what that is, but, and, you know, they don't get anything, you know, the, the nose flat hits the center and the five technique knocks the guy back and the linebacker fills and um, you know and that that's their bread and butter. So to be able to control that with our front seven was really, really good. And uh, those guys did a great job. You know, secondary support was good for the most part. Um, like I said, you know, a couple big plays that we gave up, you know, we certainly don't want to do that. Um, but as the game changed, you know, we changed a little bit with it. Uh, especially the way they were substituting so our players could get lined up and get the calls faster and have a better chance to execute. Back left with Michael. Just 
with uh, Jay tonight, how do you think he performed as in managing things and not you know making any turnovers, not making any mistakes? Well, you know, I mean, he, he, he did what we asked him to do. Um, you know, I, I think if he could have a throwback, it would have been the little out route to Calvin Ridley that he threw a little bit behind him that we had to settle for a field goal uh, in the first half. But, you know, other than that, he made some really clutch third down plays. And, um, you know, we've got to do a better job and eliminate some of these sacks and negative plays that we get. But uh, that's not all his fault. Uh, but I thought he played really, really well today. And, you know, he, he, he did a good job for what we needed to do in this game. With the right side? Uh, Coach, uh, obviously it was a great game, uh, especially for the defense and, um, you know, offense too. And um, but I'd say the one that, you know, explosive play that LSU had was the 40 yard touchdown where the receiver was single covered. He talked about how he wanted to make sure you could follow their run and was successful at that. Um, is it generally your philosophy, and was that on display here, where you want to see what the other team can do best and try to take it away? If they make a terrific play and a different thing, you know, you'll live with that to some extent. Well, you know, we'd rather not have to live with it. You know, we want to execute better. Um, we run a corner catch, so that was a safety cover and our best receiver. Um, and uh, they also motioned over there, and we sort of busted the coverage and didn't go back to three deep. There should have been a middle of the field safety. The guy ran a post, so there should have been somebody to help him, and there wasn't. So um, we didn't make a lot of mistakes, but that was one. And they took advantage of it, and it was a great play, good throw by their quarterback, and a great catch by you know their receiver. So uh, you got to give them some credit. But we didn't execute very well on that down, and you know we play single coverage a lot. Um, to have good run support, and you know the corners did a good job for the most part. Back middle, <coughs> Alex. Nick, can you explain the thought process of the 55-yard attempts uh, right before half? You know, if you punt, you didn't out first, and then you call timeouts. So uh, I really can't do that. Can you, can you explain the 55-yard uh, field goal yeah. attempt in the first half? I know the punt unit went out first, and you called timeout. Well, there was 21 seconds to go, and, and uh, I, I first didn't want to, uh, you know, Adam's range is usually 35 yard line. It was 38, but there was a little wind helping. Uh, and uh, at first, I didn't want to give him the ball if we missed it, you know, there. They complete one pass, and then they got a chance to kick the field goal. Uh, but I looked at Adam, and I said, what do you think? He said, I think I can hit it. He got a little run behind him, and he did it good. And he makes those kind of kicks a lot. Uh, so he really did a nice job today. He did a great job on kickoff. Uh, that was a big kick, and uh, he made all his kicks today. So uh, we're really pleased and happy with the job that he did. Go, Andy, in the middle. You had mentioned after the Ole Miss game that they, they came out a little too emotional and then got them out of sorts. How good have they been at being more business-like and even heel? coming into games since that point? Well, I, you know, I put a lot of emphasis on that this week. You know, the guys focus on preparing to do their job um, and, you know, do it in terms of your execution on the field. Play every play, one play at a time, like it has a history of life its own, and do it for 60 minutes in the game. Uh, some of the basic fundamental things and, and not get involved in the hoopla of the game and the emotion of the game to where you go out there and you don't execute, you don't play with discipline, and you, and you don't do your job very well. And those things lead to negative plays, and bad things usually happen. So uh, I thought our players did a great job of that playing on the road, and I thought they did a great job of that playing here today. Up front here with Mark. <clears throat> Just in terms of the momentum, how big was the feeling with his interception considering the fact that you guys had thrown one on you? Well, you know, I think anytime you go out and the other team's got the ball and you're starting out the second half, you, you, you know, the last thing you say to them at halftime is they get the ball first and, you know, we need to go out there and reestablish the tempo of the game and get a stop. Well, better than a stop is getting a turnover. Um, and I think that was a heck of a play by Dylan Lee. And uh, it, 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 it was huge in the game. You know, maybe, maybe the turning point in the game in terms of, you know, us. When the game is 13-10, we go down and score, and uh, makes it 20 to 10, so it changes the game a little bit. We're on the left of George. The, the uh, SEC West race opened wide for you guys today with Arkansas beat Ole Miss. 
can you assess where you think your team is now in terms of being ready to capitalize down the stretch? Well, I think we've got to play one game at a time. Mississippi State has a really good team. I think the goal every week is to go 1-0. I mean, it's as simple as that, and you can't think beyond that. Um, I think that every team that we play in the SEC West could beat us if we don't play well. Um, and, you know, I think our players understand that. So to prepare properly, you know, in practice and get ready for the game so you can go on the road, it's a tough place to play over there. Their quarterback's a great player. So it's going to be a real challenge for us. And uh, I like the way, I always have liked the grip of this team. I've always liked the way this team competes. And always execute, right? And people can criticize the penalties and, and you know, negative plays that we have sometimes. But uh, ability to overcome adversity has not been an issue with this group so far. So uh, hopefully we can continue to persevere. Two more quickly, Dwayne and Dennis. Yeah, this coach, uh, we had, over here, coach. Right here. We had talked, you and I asked you about Kenyon Drake. You said it would be welcome if he had a, if he had a productive game. How nice was it to see him make plays? He did have a very good game today. And, uh, you, know, uh, you know, he ran the ball effectively, caught some passes, did a really nice job. Uh, we need that. I mean, Derek carried the ball 38 times. Uh, we got to get somebody else, you know, that can carry the ball. You know, Kenyon carried it some. You know, both Scarborough are starting to figure out what 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 he's supposed to do and how he's supposed to do it, and why it's important to do it that way. If um, you know, Damian Harris has played some, so um, we probably don't need to get something out of those guys too down the stretch. Last one over here with this. Nick, how different, better is this team than the one that lost to Ole Miss? Um, I don't think it's any different. You know, we've got the same players that we had before. Um, I think the maturity of the team, the lessons learned uh, from the experience that they had uh, in that game uh, probably, you know, helped them mature, helped them fix some of the things that needed fixing, um, got them to understand what it takes to you know, go out there and execute with consistency and how important that is and how important it is to pay attention to detail and, and do the little things correctly. And I think that's why we've improved as a team because we've done that better uh, in some of the games that we've had. And, uh, you know, sometimes the best way, the best time to teach, and I hate to say this, is when things don't go well. Don't ask me why, but people seem to respond a lot better when things don't go well uh, than they do when things are going well. So, you know, that, that game taught this team a lot in terms of what they needed to do uh, to develop the kind of consistency and performance that we needed to have to be a good team. Thanks, Coach. Is that it? That's Thank it. you all.